Good morning and welcome to our online Children's Liturgy of the Word for the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. In today's Gospel, we hear about using our gifts and talents that we have been given by God. As you listen to the readings for this weekend, think about the ways that you can use your gifts in service of others. And so now let us begin with our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Generous and loving God, thank you so much for all of the gifts and the talents that you have given to us. Help us to use our gifts wisely in service and in care of all of those that we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, I don't need to write you about the time or date when all this will happen. You surely know that the Lord's return will be as a thief coming at night. People will think they are safe and secure, but destruction will suddenly strike them like the pains of a woman about to give birth, and they won't escape. My dear friends, you don't live in darkness and so that day won't surprise you like a thief. All of you belong to the light and live in the day. We won't live in the night or belong to the dark. Others may sleep, but we should stay awake and be alert. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this story about the kingdom of God. The kingdom is like what happened when a man went away and put his three servants in charge of all he owned. The man knew what each servant could do. So he handed 5,000 coins to the first servant, 2,000 to the second, and 1,000 to the third. Then he left the country. Some time later, the master of those servants returned. He called them in and asked what they had done with his money. The servant who had been given 5,000 coins brought them in with the 5,000 that he had earned. He said, Sir, you gave me 5,000 coins and I have earned 5,000 more. Wonderful, his master replied. You are a good and faithful servant. I left you in charge of only a little, but now I will put you in charge of much more. Come and share in my happiness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells us another parable about a man, a master, who had three servants. This master was going to go on a journey, and so he put his three servants in charge of his property. He gave one servant 5,000 gold coins. He gave a second servant 2,000 gold coins, and he gave his third servant 1,000 gold coins. As soon as the master left for his journey, the first servant put the 5,000 gold coins he received in the bank and made 5,000 more gold coins. 
so too with the second servant, who received 2,000 gold coins. He made 2,000 more gold coins, but the third servant only hid his gold coins, putting them in the ground, and so he did not receive any additional gold coins. When the master returned from his journey, he was very angry with the third servant because the third servant didn't use what he received wisely. When you hear this parable, what do you think Jesus is trying to tell us? Jesus is telling us something important about the gifts that we receive from God. Each and every one of us has received a gift and talent by God. We all have different skills, gifts, and talents. When you think of a gift or a skill that you have, what is it that you do? Some of us are good at singing. Some of us are really good at playing sports. Others are good at dancing or drawing. Some people are good at baking. Others are good at helping others or speaking out when we see something is wrong. Whatever your gift is, it's important that you use that gift wisely. And it's important that you share your gifts with others. When you share your gifts with others, you serve God. There are so many examples of how people use their gifts, their skills, and their talents. This week, take some time with your family to think about the ways that you use your gifts, skills, or talents. How can you use your gifts, skills, or talents to serve God in the coming week? As brothers and sisters in one loving family, let us pray to our Heavenly Father. We pray for the gift of understanding and tolerance in the Christian Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders that they may use their talents for the good of all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the gift of courage to use our God-given talents and gifts well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Knowing that our Heavenly Father is listening in the silence of our hearts, let us share our own unspoken prayers with Him. Loving Father, may we use the gifts you have given us wisely so that they may bring us closer to you and your kingdom of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For this week's family activity, think about the gifts and the talents that you've received by God. We've received our gifts and talents so that we can share them with others. And so this week, try not to hide your talents or your gifts but to use them to help others and to serve God. Complete the worksheet that's included in the PDF. Think about what you are good at and draw a picture of yourself using your gift from God. Then this week, try to put that gift into action and share that gift or skill with other people. We begin our closing prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Generous and loving God, thank you for all of the gifts and the talents that you have given to each one of us. Thank you for the gift of being able to see. Help us to see you in everyone that we meet. Thank you for the gift of being able to hear. Help us to, to hear the needs of those around us. Thank you for giving us the gift of our voice. Help us to use our voice in response to what is just and right. Thank you for the gift of compassion. Help us to use our heart in service and care for other people. God, thank you for all of these gifts. May we continue to use our gifts wisely and not be afraid to share what you have given to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for this online Children's Liturgy of the Word. We hope that you have a good week ahead, and we look forward to celebrating the Feast of Christ the King next weekend. Have a good week.